In summer, the island of Sodor gleams in the sun and every station is filled with flowers. Percy had been working at the docks all day and was tired of the smell of fish. Whew. Come on, Percy, said his driver. Time to go home. Please, sir, can I have a wash down first? Sorry, Percy, there isn't time. Sir Topham Hatt is waiting for us at the sheds. There is to be a festival of flowers, announced Sir Topham Hatt. This sign saying best dressed station will be awarded to the winner. Please help with the arrangements. The engines were excited. My favorite station is Fafarquhar, said Thomas. Mine is Maithwaite, said Toby. Percy, what's yours? Percy was too tired to think properly. The docks, he murmured. Ha, sniffed Thomas, we can tell. Toby laughed. The docks are full of fish, not flowers. All right, then, Arsdale End. That's my home, replied Toby. That's why I like it, especially when you're there and not here saying I'm silly. Good night. Next morning, Percy was proud to be sparkling again. His train of freight cars were being loaded with vegetables and flowers. These are for Maithwaite, said his driver. They'll display them on the platform. On the way, Percy saw Harold. Why is Harold buzzing about, he puffed. I haven't time for a race today. What's that, said his driver. Why, bless me, it's a ram. Now we'll be late. I should have known that Harold was trying to tell us something. Bah! I've got just the ticket to get him off the track, cried the fireman. Food. He found some cabbage leaves. The ram chomped happily away. Please, can we go now? When Percy arrived at the station, his driver told the station master what had happened. I've heard about this ram. He's always hungry. A little while later, the station was decked with flowers. Maithwaite will definitely win first prize, decided Percy. He left his coaches and went to a siding where no one could see him. Ugh, time for a snooze, he thought, but it wasn't. We'd better see what all that noise is about, said his driver. Percy was shocked. Flowers were scattered everywhere. It's that ram. He's made a meal of the station, too. Then there was trouble. We can't get into the waiting room, the passengers cried. Why not, asked the station master. The ram won't let us. Everyone looked at the ram, and the ram looked at them. He's not alone, exclaimed Percy's driver. Let us out, begged the boys. We're sorry. Well, look at that, said the station master. The boys are the culprits, not the ram. He was just making sure they did no more damage. We thought it would be fun, but it wasn't. We'll put everything back. A few days later, Sir Topham Hatt invited some of the engines to Maithwaite, winner of the Best Dress Station Award. I'm sorry, Toby, whispered Percy. You made the right choice. Then Sir Topham Hatt made an announcement. There is one more prize for our good friend, the Ram. Here it is. And I'll eat my hat if you don't like it. Then Harold landed. The wind from his blades blew Sir Topham Hatt's hat off. <laughs> well, seems I wouldn't be able to eat my hat even if I had to. Everyone laughed, and the only sound from the Ram was a contented hiccup. <laughs>